Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, January 19, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So we're very welcome. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And yet again, today, US dollar started appreciating and then it ran into major resistance at the top of the of the bullish band also where at the 50 uh, moving average so at the end of the session it basically tumbled and you can see that some of these currencies um well it got a quite a boost so we'll look at the great british pound and the us dollar and as you can see we found a major support here at the 40 uh, exponential moving average and then we rallied above the 20 exponential moving average now we're trading above the 20 exponential so at this point, I think that we are going to test the previous highs here. If we manage to break through these previous highs, then we are actually going significantly higher than this. If we look at technical indicators, they are still fairly bullish, bearish at this point. And MACD is bearish, the RSI is flat, the CCI is flat, and stochastic is bearish. However, if you look at the four hour chart, for example, the stochastic, you can see that it is turning around. So it is just a matter of time. If we can get another candlestick above the 20 exponential tomorrow, that opens the door to these previous highs. So that is a move of roughly 1% to the upside. Um, if we break below the 40 exponential, we have the 50 right underneath. And after that, we have a long way down towards the 100 moving average. I don't expect that to happen anytime soon. We have a lot of room here to the upsides, also in the RSI. So I am my... I am favoring the upside because I think that the US dollar is also going to depreciate the next next few days. So let's look at the US dollar yen. Yes, sorry. So as you can see, we can get rid of this. We have been trading in a downward trend line for a very long time since basically March last year. And at the moment, we are basically at the top here of the of this um, of this channel. And that usually means that we are going to go down. So I think that we are going to test these previous lows. So 102 to 596, that is where we are going down. And that's roughly a fall of roughly 1.04%. So it is basically, it has been built into this cake basically that we are going to drop. If we break through the 20 exponential, then we are heading straight towards the uh, very lows here and probably to all the way down to the very bottom so there's a lot of room to the downside we are at 56 in rsi you can also see that the, basically the bottom of the bullish band is basically also where i expect this market to drop to the technical indicators are turning around for example the macd is turning around cci is turning around we can look at the daily for the stochastic that is also uh, turning around at this point so everything is pointing to this breaking down towards these lows. We may see a little pop to the upside, but then we are heading all the way down here. So let's look at the Euro US dollar. So this has been absolutely hammered the last uh, few trading days, actually the last week and a half. At this point, we're trading underneath the 50 moving average. There is not a lot of uh, signs that we are going to turn around. Um, we have stopped here the last three trading days around the 1207, but we could easily go all the way down to the 100 moving average. That's a drop of roughly 1%. And there you will basically see a lot of buyers come in and buy this. At this point, at this point it is basically just a cliffhanger. Uh, if we rally to the upside, we have to get through the 50, the 40, and the 20 uh, moving average in order to go to these previous highs. If you look at technical indicators, yes, they are. Some of them are turning around. For example, stochastic is showing signs of basically showing, turning around here. CCI is negative. The RSI is flat, and the, and the MACD is very uh, negative. So if you look at it, we're also at the bottom of the bullish band. But we could also have a little rally and then go continue towards the 100 moving average. So you have to see if we manage to rally above these moving averages, then yes, then that is a very clear indication where are we, where we're going. And that is to these previous highs here of 12.34. So let's look at Aussie US dollar. We have broken down through this basically channel that we've been in for a really long time. So is this a sign that we are going to turn? Well, probably not. Um, 
we may head towards the 40, maybe 50 moving average, and then go back up to these previous highs. The technical indicators are still looking very bearish for uh, this currency pair, MACD bearish, RSI is flat, the CCI is bearish, so the, the um, stochastic is very bearish, and we can see that we have a little bit of room here to the downside towards the um, bottom of the Bollinger Band, and that's a roughly a drop of 1%, and then it will also hit the 40 exponential moving average. So that is possible. We're trading underneath that 20. So the 20 is acting as resistant at the moment, not support. So we could fall from this area all the way down to 0 0.76 and then rally from there. So we'll have to see at the moment. It's uh, it's not something I will jump into the trade because it, it's basically not ready. You have to go on uh, all the way down to the 40 exponential and then basically show uh, signs of life to go back up. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, this is a trade that we entered today and we entered it right there. So the reason why we entered it is because the 50, 100 and the 40 uh, moving average have been very resistant for this currency pair. Last time we were at the 40, we can see there, we dropped all the way from this level down towards this level. So at 12.83 down to 12.62. And then we went back up towards the 40 and now we're again going back down. So we are basically trading within, basically sideways at this moment within this channel. And uh, yes, at this current stage, I think that we're heading back towards these very lows. It may take a few days. We, uh, we haven't broken through the 20 exponential moving average yet, but the 40 uh, exponential has been proven to be very resistant and we have the 50 right above. So... I am I'm pretty pretty sure that we're heading back to the downside. This is basically a trade of roughly 1%, and that is also where we'll hit the bottom of the Bollinger Band. If we break through these very lows, then we're heading much lower. Technical indicators, some of them are still bullish, but some of them are basically showing signs of weakness. Uh, MACD is still under zero, it's above the signal line, so it's bullish. Uh, RSI is basically becoming bearish at this point. CCI is bullish. Stochastic is bullish on the one-hour chart. But if we look at the four-hour chart, we can see that it is completely turning around. And that means that tomorrow we will most likely see in a crack here, basically turn around here and go back down towards the signal line, indicating that we are going to change um, direction here. So our target are these previous lows, 1262. And uh, we'll, we'll see whether or not we manage to break through that. There's not a lot of room to the downside. I think we are going to be fairly oversold when we get to these lows. So it will probably bounce back up towards the 20 exponential, 40, or the 50. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, bell button to see your newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.